the members of this 21st century Bedouin caravan, one of the few still operating in Mesopotamia, are probably unaware they're walking on land that, centuries ago, belonged to a great people, the Aramaeans. In the course of centuries, this ancient race has left an indelible mark on world history. Today, it is as if the memory of this people has been lost in the mists of time. In a land that has nurtured hundreds and hundreds of years of history in which the Aramean heritage has played no role. Nevertheless, enclaves of Aramaeans live on, a few still clinging to their roots in the Middle East, the majority dispersed in communities scattered all over the world, and all brought together by their church, the Syrian Orthodox Church, that has recorded their heritage and preserved their language. The term Aram appeared for the first time in the 23rd century BC to indicate a region of upper Mesopotamia where this nomadic people had settled. The history of the Aramaeans a Semitic people which traces its lineage to Aram, son of Shem, Noah's fourth son, has its roots in ancient texts, including the Old Testament and the Quran, a heritage confirmed by recent archaeological finds. The Bible tells of Abraham, the wandering Aramean, from Ur of the Chaldees in southern Iraq, who settled for a long time with his family in the region of Aram Naharaim, meaning the Aram of the two rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates, specifically in Haran, in the southeast corner of modern Turkey. Later, when Abraham wanted for his son Isaac, a wife who was not from the land of Canaan, where they had finally made their home, he sent his servant back to Haran. The servant found Rebekah, daughter of Bathuel the Aramean, son of Milcah, wife of Abraham's brother, and consequently, the patriarch's great niece. When the servant first set eyes on her, she was fetching water at the well, a daily chore that continues today. Tell me, my child, who is your father? Can your father give us shelter for the night? I am the daughter of Batul, the son of Milka by Nakal. We have no lack of straw and hay, and our home is a roomy house to lodge in. Later, when it came time for Isaac's son Jacob to marry, Isaac followed his father's example and gave his son this order. Go to Padan Aram, the house of Batul, the father of your mother, and take from there your wife from among the daughters of Laban, brother of your mother. Jacob did as he was told and found three shepherds minding their flocks near a well. My brothers, where are you from? We are from Haran. Do you know Laban, son of Nakor? We do. Is he well? Yes. Oh, that's his daughter Rachel approaching with the flock. Jacob kissed Rachel, a shepherdess like those still found today near Haran, and told her they were related because he was Rebekah's son. Therefore, he was an Aramean, just like her family. Abraham the wandering Aramean brings us to 1850 BC, but it is only in around 1100 BC that the first explicit mention of the Aramaeans appears in the annals of the king of Assyria, tiglath I, in which are recorded battles against the Alamu Aramean nomads along the banks of the Euphrates. I forded the river Euphrates 28 times and followed the Aramean people from Beshre to Tadmor, from the city of Rafik in Babylonia to the city of Anat in the region of Suhi and to Gargamish and to the east of the plains of Sru. It was here that Dura Europus was founded as a river port and defensive point against attacks from Mesopotamia. This ancient city, founded in the 4th century BC by Seleucus, Alexander the Great's lieutenant and head of the Seleucid dynasty, was for a long time not only an impregnable fortress that defended the kingdom of Syria, but also an important trade center on the caravan route that linked Mesopotamia to the Arabian Gulf and to Antioch, the ancient capital of Syria. Captured and razed to the ground by the Sassanids in 256 AD, the city, or what was left of it, 
was buried under the sand for 1,700 years. Today, Dura Europis is one of Syria's most important archaeological sites, a veritable trove for archaeological finds and a constant source of precious information that serves to reconstruct the history and the customs of people who, like the Aramaeans, inhabited this area even before the city existed. The citadel of Dura Europas overlooked the majestic Euphrates, along which the Aramaeans founded various city-states. Some are named in the Old Testament, Aram Soba, Aram Bitrehob, Padan Aram, Aram Damascus. Others, such as Bit Adini, have been passed down from Assyrian sources. At the end of the 10th century BC, the Assyrian Empire started its expansion towards the west and gradually conquered the neighboring city-states that, until then, had maintained their independence. This is why documents regarding the Aramaean civilization are often found in Assyrian-Babylonian archaeological digs. Mm -hmm. 